Okay, today we're gonna to take this curved shower curtain rod and install it and replace this stupid old tension rod. Hey Think Cox here guys, thanks for joining us on Around the Home. Please forgive the lighting in this room. This room is a really funky, like hot salmon color. We're gonna end up repainting it here. We never really liked it. So it's really messing with the colors on this. I'm gonna try to adjust it and edit it as much as I can. But back to the video at hand, we're gonna take this old, this is one of those standard screw tension rods. And you can see by the paint here that it's been pulling it and jacking it, you know, and it's just making a mess. And we have it, uh, one in our other bathroom is a, a curved shower curtain rod. Um, this one screws into the wall so it stays put, it doesn't slide up and down and get loose. Plus, since it's curved outward, it gives you more room in the shower um, and doesn't take away from the room in the bathroom, you know. So first things first, you're going to want a measurement, okay? You're going to want to put your shower curtain up there. Now, we already got this one up here, obviously, and so that's a good thing. It's used one that's already there if you already have one. If not, get someone to help hold it in place so you can see how long your shower curtain your liner is and your actual curtain is and where it lays down. I know someone wants me to give me an exact measurement, but there isn't. It depends on the exact height of your shower curtain, how big your rings are. It depends on whether you have a tub shower unit, which this is, so it has a tall side, so you can lift it up a little bit higher and keep it from dipping in the water all the time. Um, or if you just have a shower unit and it has a very small step over. Okay, so you have to consider all those things and just get it measured and placed in place. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mark this. We're gonna come just outside the shower like it is, because that's been working pretty good. And I can actually raise this just a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna put it right about there. And since this has been like sliding all around, I'm gonna measure from the ceiling down so I get an exact measurement and match it on both sides. Okay, so first you wanna make sure you got the mounting plate correctly, okay? And on this one here, these, these tabs right here, they need to be, you know, straight up and down. They need to be running on a vertical, okay? Just the way the slots are to mount the secure screw there for the rods. So we're just gonna go up there and mark the screw holes right now. Now the anchors that come with this, which is probably very similar to the anchors that come with almost all these, are crap. They're just a little plastic sleeve and they almost break when you pull them out. So I've upgraded it and went to the hardware store and got some good wall anchors. Um, I actually do that in a lot of my stuff because most of the time the wall anchors that come with stuff, they're just terrible. Just, so just keep that in mind when you're doing your project. Consider upgrading now depending on the kind of wall anchor you're using, it's always good to take a small drill bit and run a test hole through it real quick first. Okay. Because if you're going to hit a stud, then you can just screw to the stud. You don't want the wall anchor. You put the wall anchor there, it's going to hit the stud. And it's going to start spreading out and, and, and cracking things. Um, so just test it first. Make sure that you've actually, you just open, you know, open wall here. Okay, now if you guys can hear that or not, uh, but three out of my four holes hit studs, okay? So I'm only going to take one of them and, um, and widen it out for the anchor. Okay, I take that back. The one hole that wasn't really solid, but it was so close to the wood, is actually rubbing against it and causing the drill to push to the side. So I just drilled it in at an angle. So I'm not gonna actually use any wall anchors at all. Okay, now something to notice when you're putting those up is one of these pipes is bigger than the other one. That allows the small one to slide, you know, into it. So as you can probably see by these two rings, okay, maybe you kind of can, uh, one of the slots is bigger than the other one. But the same goes to the mounting plates, okay? Most of them, more likely, they'll be a little bit bigger than the other one. So just pay attention to which way it's gonna go before you get it up there. 
So we're gonna simply take our first rod, okay? And then we're gonna slide it into the second rod. And then we're gonna put them up on here and uh, put our little screws through to hold them in place. I got something again. I don't do shower curtains very often. Let's put all the little rings on right now because that's gonna be a lot easier than trying to flex them around it. Okay, now depending on how yours is designed, they're all gonna be very similar, but you know, these just have little nuts where it's just gonna screw on the end. Okay, now I'm gonna take my uh, impact, my little crescent wrench, and just snug it up. Don't go crazy and bend it. But let's snug it up so it doesn't fall apart. And now we're just gonna lock the trim plate into place. Okay guys, other than adding the shower curtain, the liner, and the outer curtain, we are done. I know it's a little tight in here in the bathroom, but guys, thanks for hanging in with me this video. Please take a moment and uh, subscribe to the channel, put it right up there. Check out my website, there's links to it right there. I've got some additional videos for you to check out over here. There'll be Amazon links, like I said before, in the description down below for some good curved shower curtain rods, along with other stuff we use in this project to help you get the right things. Also using those Amazon links, help support the channel and my website, all that stuff. Guys, um, hope this helped you learn how to install a shower curtain rod, and I hope you enjoy your curved shower curtain rod. You guys have a great one.